Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Luna and I make Animal Crossing videos every single week. So if you're into that, consider subscribing to join our little AC family. Oh look, it's Teddy. Let me wave at him. Oh, he waved back. Usually they just ignore me. <laughs> So today I'm going to work on this little pathway here that I've accidentally created as I was building. Also, I wanted to mention that I changed the color of the pergola to this brown and purple one. If you're interested in how I did this and how I decorated my Able Sisters, I will leave a link to this video in the time cards on top and I will leave a link to that video in the description below. So you can check it out, but I really love how the Able Sisters came out. Probably one of my favorite builds. So so far and I love how the brown and purple colors look here. So today I decided I wanted to decorate this walkway. I don't have a video showing how I did this walkway. It just kind of came together when I was creating my exterior home and my last build. So this is just a strip that just randomly came about and I decided I wanted to decorate it. It's a little awkward, a little narrow, but I think I could do it. I've seen so many pictures of people creating this type of elevated walkway. I really love this type of walkway because you get to see both sides as you're walking through it and it's just like this beautiful view which I'm obsessed with. I'm going to start off by adding a couple of flowers and bushes. I decided to use this little flower field path to kind of change up the paths that I have going on. Now with the path I'm just creating an S shape with it. The S shape just makes the path look more natural and then I'm just filling up these sides with some custom designs and this glowing I love how the moss just gives this area like this overgrown look to it. Then in this small little space I decided to add a cedar tree and I'm finishing up the path. I decided to break up the path and have one path lead to my house and the other one continue on to the other side. Funny thing is throughout me creating this build Teddy just kept walking back and forth while I was decorating. I was like bruh really can you just let me decorate for once please? Please. <laughs> I love my villagers but like when I'm decorating or building cliffs or trying to create anything they just literally will sit down right in front of wherever you're working on and this happens every single time. I'm just like please can you please move over <laughs> and then I feel bad pushing my villagers to the side so I just wait until they decide to move on their own because I don't have the heart to like hit them like some people do. Does this ever happen to you guys? If it does like what do you guys do? I even close the game sometimes and turn it back on just to see if they're not there anymore. I think that's a little bit much but that's the extent that I go through just to not harm any of my villagers. I definitely want to know what you guys do so definitely leave a comment below. But yeah here I'm finishing off the second part of the path. I decided that I wanted to add more trees and mushrooms kind of turn it into a walkway like a magical fairy tale walkway with like a bunch of flowers, trees, and some butterflies flying around of course. I'm going to use a couple of butterfly models. I definitely have a lot of fun creating this build. I wanted to create a quick build for you guys just because I'm going to start going back to island tours because a lot of you asked for it. I want to do this once or twice a month just because one, I wanted to see what you guys are doing on your islands and two, sometimes I need a break decorating my own island so visiting someone else's island is like an escape for me so who knows I might end up visiting your island next. Also along with island tours I definitely need to decorate my house. I am so good at decorating my island but when it comes to my house it definitely needs some help. <laughs> So I want to decorate my house and I want to go back on Nookazon and get some mystery items and we can open them up together. I also want to villager hunt. I'm still waiting on a villager to come up to me and say, Luna, I want to leave this island, but that hasn't happened yet. And I've been decorating for like a whole month straight and not even one villager came up to me to ask me to leave. So I'm just waiting on that. Once that happens, I will definitely do a villager hunt. I promise. But yeah, let me just get back to the build. I'm just extending the path a little bit further. I added a garden wagon here because I thought the colors on the wagon look so nice here. And then I added a garden gnome just so it can look like the gnome is working hard selling his flowers. 
and then just filling up any empty spaces with some custom designs. It may look a little weird now, but the trees aren't grown, but once they grow, they're going to look super nice here. And then I'm adding some mush lamps, of course, so that at night it can illuminate the pathway. I couldn't help myself, so I decided to add a mushroom parasol in the back, just because when the tree grows to the third stage, I wanted something in the back of it so it doesn't look so empty. And then I'm filling up the sides with some flowers. And because I haven't done this in a while, I decided I wanted to add some star fragments to the area. I don't think this messes up your star rating on your island because it's naturally found on your island. I read that somewhere, but if I'm wrong, definitely correct me because I don't want anyone to lose a star because of this. And now I'm adding fruit trees in the back of each tree just to stop it from growing because I love the growth stage that it's currently on. I'm going to time travel one more day so that this tree can grow to the stage I want it to be. I hate my island when it's raining. It looks so gloomy. <laughs> and now I'm finishing off the bills by adding some final touches like some flowers and then I'm adding some more star fragments. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place them so that they don't look weird or just too close to each other. Not me accidentally dropping 10 Libra star fragments. So let me just quickly start from the beginning just to show you how the pathway looks. If you walk this way, it will lead you to my house. And then if you keep going to the left, you will have this lovely view of the forest. Here is how the entrance of the pathway looks. It looks like it's not moving, but I promise it's moving. <laughs> if you stare at the flowers, they're gently moving with the wind. I really love how the bills came out. I hope this helps those that are having a hard time with narrow places on their island. Hope this helps motivate you and encourage you to build something of your own. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. If you want to see more videos from me, consider subscribing to join our little AC family. Really quickly, I want to share with you guys that I will be doing an island tour video this Saturday. So if you want me to tour your island, all you have to do is go to the description below and click on the Google Doc link and fill out the form. This is how the form will look. All you have to do is just provide me your name and your preferred pronouns. Also add your social media handles just so that I can give you credit and people can go and support you. Of course, your dream address, roughly the amount of hours you spent on your island and the theme that you're going for. If you don't have a theme, that's okay. You can just put down that you don't have one. And lastly, upload about two to five pictures of your island. Please don't send any pictures that is not your island. You will be surprised at how many requests I get from people submitting pictures of other people's islands. Please only post pictures of your island. Love you all always. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.